the arc design that you can see here on the L. Um, the SP is a little bit bigger, um, has more processing power, and you can see the design is also a lot different. We have aluminum body, for example, here on the sides, but you can see that the size of the devices themselves is not that much different. So then if you are comparing, you can already see here that compared to the Apple iPhone 5, the size is about the same in height, but in width, of course, 4.3 inch to 4 inch is a difference here. You can see that right there on the side. And of course, the price is half um, on the Sony Xperia L compared to the Apple iPhone or to a Sony Xperia Z, which is also, of course, the premium device by Sony, but we have the same kind of um, power button here on the side and layout and in thickness um, the um, L is in the middle about the same but to the top and bottom due to the art design it's a little bit thicker but it's, it feels quite good in your hand. You can see on the back there is no fingerprints or anything and due to this maybe even rubberish um, plastic feeling and you can of course also change the battery in here 1700 milliamps um, are inside um, and micro SD and micro SIM slot also. So compared to the HTC One you can see here uh, the HTC is a lot bigger 4.7 inch to 4.3 in comparison and in thickness well um, it's hard to compare but of, again here the price is um, double but the Samsung Galaxy S3 is going down in price and um, um, processing power is a little bit higher inside here but again the um, L by Sony is smaller, lighter and probably the battery life will be even better and Android 4.1 Jelly Bean is also quite beautiful actually on here as you can see here we have the um, Bravi engine installed where you can right away shoot a picture or um, check the music that you are listening to and go back and forth in the, in the playlist we have uh, on hardware wise here a uh, battery um, a camera button right here on the side and we have volume control on the back 8 megapixel camera with 720p 